Hi, yeah, welcome to what we thought would happen. <laughs> I'm Daniel Webb. I'm Laura Keitlinger. <laughs> we are so lucky. We have one of the funniest writer, comic, and producers, and caregivers in, I'm going to say in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tammy Joe Jardin. Yay. Nothing like an oversell. Thank Wait, you. No, no, no. <laughs> no. And we've already been talking so much. We covered so much territory. But I thought it was, I thought it was almost done. Um no. <laughs> Things always get tense when we bring up astrology in here. Oh, I know. Right? It's so funny. Well, I know we can't we can't talk about it. It's, are you a believer? I mean, really? yeah, because it's, it's like it's a, it's a line. If you're smart, you don't believe in it. If you're gullible, uh, you do. Well, and I totally do. Whatever. Hundred percent. Says the woman who just pushed her fucking cat intimacy belief on us. Oh well, I'll tell you something. I think I'm fucking right about that. I'm glad you brought that up, Daniel. I think when people say they don't like cats, mm. I think they have a fear of intimacy. But I like cats. I just don't want to own one. Correct. Yeah. Well, I'm allergic, so I also don't want them rubbing on me or my face. <laughs> right. Because it's I a... feel the tickle hmm. and the itch. And the is that the thing? Is it more, is it like mental? You're like, once one gets on you, you're like, oh my God, I'm allergic. It is when they get on my face and I, uh -huh. I can feel it tickling and the burning of the eyes. And I have been to houses where they own them and I'm like, something's going on with allergies and then mm. they'd have a cat. Have you ever had a full like allergy panel? Because sometimes like when you do that, you, you, oh. you find that you don't have the same allergy or you have dip ones you didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. Or it's just to the cat food. <laughs> yeah. I had God, I had an allergist tell me, and it was funny because I was in a really bad relationship, and she said I was allergic to sperm, and I said, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Where's the test for that? Do I don't mean? know. She just, she, oh, you know what it was? I had to hold little bottles of chemicals. <laughs> Not, I, maybe it was sperm. That's I don't insane. Know what, no. Yeah, you hold little crystal bottles of chemicals of all different things mm -hmm. i held like a bottle of like gold flakes uh -huh. and she said oh you should wear gold is something that really like oh. is fine with and you'd be shocked there's some things you can't hold in your hand and that one of the things whatever that was you know something was whatever is in sperm was <laughs> <laughs> it, the only yeah. thing it was in a bottle it was an actual <laughs> dick <laughs> And then it dropped. I mean, like, and there was something else. Maybe it was wheat. I couldn't grasp it in my hand. Well, that's how they found out I was a lesbian, nut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. No. So dumb. But then you can't be allergic to pussy also. <laughs> I mean, one time we all went to see, we saw Prince in concert, right? Which was uh. wild. But we all, well, there were four of us, and we all dropped our drink. Is that the same thing? We, like, I was standing there. I was, uh, this is how no, stupid I was. No. I was a kid. I was 21 at a stadium show, and I ordered a Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like at like SoFi Stadium or some bullshit. So I have this. Before fucking, sodium was an issue. But, well, yeah, but like a gallon drink with celery in it in a sporting event. <laughs> and it was Prince. And that's what I dropped in awe of his like musical ma ma oh, mastery. Oh, that's incredible. I love know. Prince. But is that what I can't hold is like high sodium content? <laughs> that's <laughs> at a concert of, of someone you want to see? Probably. That shit. You're, al you're allergic to good music, it sounds like. On an airplane? Do no. Although I, I kind of so. am questioning all the music I ever listened to. What? Like Fleetwood Mac just doesn't hit the way it used to. Whoa, I disagree. But it's I, opposite experience. Controversial. I've seen them three times. Like I'm in love with them. I'm just not in that place right now. I don't think they're playing right now they no never again <laughs> yeah well my favorite is how it ended right because stevie fired Lindsay, and then christine McVie died and then so did the ex-husband of hers no yeah isn't he dead oh my god if i'm saying he's no dead. the basis i have is no idea dead. john McVie. no today no, no. <laughs> what if I came with like that the one day I, didn't run to I come to the podcast <laughs> with a heavy heart. <laughs> no. John McVie is dead. Because <laughs> he's kind of my favorite, sort of. Mm. But I want him to be like Ringo. I want Ringo to be the last one. Well, alive, let's have, maybe know? we can have just a ceremonial goodbye for Tusk. The album? Yeah. Tusk is the first million dollar album You're ever made. You're fucking kidding me. No. They Tusk. Spent, <laughs> they spent on Blow. He, it's a good record. You have a a lot of data in your head. It, oh, useless. he's incredible. Yeah. Totally he's incredible. Useless. It no, goes it away, useless. by the way. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> This is your future. <laughs> oh, no. um, so I feel like like I never had COVID, but the experience of pandemic fogged my brain. Or, oh. what, or was it just because I turned 40 during pandemic? Yeah, I have fog, but I do think <laughs> I, I've had it. So I'm not sure uh, if, if it's my low testosterone right. count. Or, <laughs> uh, oh, maybe that's it. I'm losing testosterone. I mean, Could you're be. a little young. I'm 41. Yeah. It doesn't maybe, happen yet? Well... 
Can we? I get just want to have. Can we get a doctor again. in here? I know Nella. you I need mean, like five. I I just want my feminine hands back. Does that happen? Is <laughs> Your that hands reversed? are beautiful. No, but they're hairy. <laughs> so are mine. I want you know. You should see my back. Let's keep moving. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> Say. Let's talk about no, nipple kidding. hair. Right. <laughs> oh, let's wanna, dive in. It's always a competition. Dan, you you know that I like to discuss like high school situations uh-huh. and what because I think it kind of like sets up what your life could be like mm-hmm. you know no matter you know high school how it affects you and <laughs> i know that tammy joe was a prom queen isn't that right i was <laughs> that was i was not prom queen in high school what, what was it i was nothing i was <laughs> i remember being i i had i had to have a bowel movement a very <laughs> wait a second listen, you i'm court? gonna tell you no okay. i'm gonna tell you a story i was in uh, my science class mm. and it was gonna be break or lunch or something mm. and i had to go to the bathroom and i wanted to go to the gym restroom so it wouldn't create what the delivery guy did in your bathroom when we arrived. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. And the delivery guy used your bathroom. Oh my bathroom? god. And okay, wait, wait. it was like under the, Hang on, the like... dog was like under the door cuz it smelled the dog so bad. Was under the okay. door. And I was like, "Hey, thanks for moving that and taking a giant." The dog thumb. really was under the <laughs> door. Oh god almighty. Is there anything else you want to leave here? I wanted you to get stuff out of here. There was a big splash in the toilet. There was water coming oh out from god. under the door. The dog it was, was in really, it was really unbelievable. A literal delivery man. He literally dropped a package. Wait, there's a reason I'm telling you this story. So I'm I'm relieving myself and they're announcing winter formal court <laughs> on the intercom. on the intercom <laughs> and they announce my best friend and i thought she's in winter formal court and mm. i'm taking Shit in the fucking <laughs> and that's and that's kind of how it ended the only reason that's how <laughs> I, but i okay i interpreted that as your prom queen and uh, that's how I remember the she's, story. She's saying that because my 50th birthday. Mm-hmm. So thank you for, I had a reveal that I'm older. Outing. Yeah. <laughs> my 50th Not birthday. Than me. Pre-COVID, I think we were ground zero because mm-hmm. it was in January of 2020. Mm-hmm. We had a giant prom and I was prom queen. It was amazing <laughs> though. We were a super spreader. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone was sick and then we shut down the whole world. But you were crowned prom queen at your own birthday. Of course. That's great. I, mean, I love I, the term was, super spreader. I like to super- go from that to how's your mom? <laughs> I mean, in the old days, it just meant you got laid a lot, right? When you're a super spreader. And then, like, then you're like part of the problem. Johnny Apple. But Johnny Apple but it was super beautiful. Super Wait a second. So Tammy Joe, I was completely wrong about all Yes. Of this. All right. That's you, not, I was not prom queen. Were you popular? I mean, you maybe. You were. I, got, was, I was. You were so popular at being prom queen at your 50th. It was packed. You were good Yeah, at I it. set it up. <laughs> she <laughs> was rigged. Oh. I stacked the deck. She was a ringer <laughs> the whole time. I was like, uh, when I was in junior high, I was uh, commissioner of pep. I ran the leadership <laughs> that class. That had a commissioner? And I ran, yeah, like a commissioner. Of pep. <laughs> so I ran all the pep rallies See, and stuff. And this is in Orange County. Yep. You're so telling so many that. things. <laughs> <laughs> What's know, wrong with My that? blood type is. <laughs> that really, that really yes, I'm does. from Orange County. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I, mean. I don't yeah. know what my blood type is, but I know like all the sisters of Sosada. Like That's I can name weird. them. Do you know what I mean? Well, I give blood because I'm that kind of person. Thanks for um, your help. Well, I'm an active, I'm such an active <laughs> gay man. They, you know, it's a dodgy. You I know, mean, you have so to pass so many tests. I have an app on my phone that tells me my blood type. <laughs> really? Yeah, I couldn't oh, wow. tell you right now. Because I give blood. So, okay, but wait, you were commissioner of the pep squad. And first of all, people just used to be more no pep squad. civic minded. Wait, <laughs> what? Pe- of, of the pep rally. So, like, a couple times a year, we'd have pep rallies for yeah. different teams and different stuff. Uh-huh. And so I had a sick sense of humor. So. <laughs> I brought the record player out. Like they, nobody did this. It was all outside. So mm-hmm. I brought the record player. You know, this is in <laughs> what? How old am I? So eighty-two, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. And I had a big extension cord. Made a record player, and I played Romper Room. Do be yes. a sidewalk <laughs> player. Don't be a street player. And I had the teachers play musical chairs. Mm-hmm. And so I thought it was funny. Like, haha, on you. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. really cute. Yeah, though. and that's then clever. Yeah. And then I had some of the band come. And this was junior high, so nobody mm-hmm. was doing that. Mm-hmm. So I did stuff like that. Uh, That's awesome. I love Drumper Room. It was on and at least... (laughs) I did. When I grew up, it'd be on at 6 a.m. It was before a, th- a cartoon I really wanted to watch. Which so, was? Which was Thundercats or Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Oh, right. I remember Mighty Here Mouse. I come to I, save the day. Because, right, then they, but they would also <laughs> have... comedy. They would have Chili Willy, right? That was part of the Mighty Mouse, Aww. right? They'd slice in some Chili Willy, the remember. penguin. Oh, yeah. Um, right. right? I think yeah. that was part of that franchise. Anyway, but Romper Room would be on beforehand. Uh, I don't it, really remember. It's so Martian. It's very bizarre. <laughs> Because the lady 
host mm -hmm. and the weird puppet, right? She's the only one acting like everything's normal, which is so bizarre, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And there's these weird kids from kind of the 70s, right? I just remember her saying, looking at the camera mm -hmm. and she's like, and I can see Bobby. Oh, yes. right. Yeah. Yes. That's Ooh. what I remember. And I'm like, that is yeah. weird. No and one's ever going to say Tammy Jo. No. <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah. Well, that is Tammy really kind of, yeah. that's almost satanic. <laughs> satanic. Yeah. Say, I can see you. It's and cool. I can it's see very, you. It's very pornographic. Oh. Oh, yeah. that, right? uh, There's like wait reverse a only fans. You, uh, <laughs> I want to throw out a challenge. There was a woman who was a very popular, I guess on TikTok, and she was a mom and her show was called Eight Passengers and it was about how to bring up children mm -hmm. and how to discipline children. And then one of her kids crawled out the window and asked the neighbor for food <laughs> and she's been arrested and now she's going to jail for 15 years. But anyway, wow. she had 2.5 million TikTok Talking sure. about my mom. Yeah. No, no, no but I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm saying, but if, I'm saying if I think that on this podcast that I think we can get half as many followers as a child abuser. We yeah. should. You want, that's our goal. So yeah. one of us just has to run from the house screaming for help. That's yeah. basically. Yeah. That's okay. That's the ticket. Right. My friend just started an OnlyFans for her feet. Uh, yeah. Right? Which is great. But she's monetizing. And my other yep. friend, and it's the non sex. I should do that too because my feet are fucking amazing. But there's a. It's, <laughs> I've got short toes and they're do you have cute as hell. On? Yeah. She's, I have got. She's my foot toes. pride. My Give toes. us your fucking elevator pitch for your feet right now. Right? Okay, okay. I'm tall. I have long legs and long arms, but my toes are perfectly short and petite. They're just as cute as can be. Mm. They're like the feet of a baby panda. Oh, no. What? Wait, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm trying to think of something cute. That sounds just hairy. Wait a second. No, my, my, uh, I, wait a second. Fail. <laughs> Damn it. They're like, the, how about the, of a doll? What? Oh, oh. No. All right, I can't think of anything. <laughs> Just show us your They're, fucking feet. All right, That's I'm awesome. going to put them up right now. Yeah, there it is. Oh, the shoe and everything. Okay, okay. I'm looking at a flip-flop, uh -huh, so I I've see. turned some of you off. It's We've very... lost three followers <laughs> of the six. Well, and the flip-flop pattern's they're very nice. Key West. Yeah, yeah they I mean, are nice. Like, but I mean, they're, you know, like put the a second toe, toe it, is it. smaller than the first toe. Thank God. And they're manicured. Right. She has a toe ring. <laughs> Honestly, Very lesbian. The limberness of the way the leg was hocked up on the table. I know, like, I always think I like do that. No. Because, you know, I was in Shallow Hell 100 years ago, and I remember one of the things was Jason Alexander's character couldn't date this incredibly beautiful woman because of her feet like she had one toe that was longer than her, her first doesn't toe. everybody or is that not a sign of royalty i don't have that i yeah. have you've got amazing toes but sadly as i've gotten older they look kind of like a miniature like my dad has fred flintstone feet <laughs> mm -hmm. i have fred flintstone feet i love fred flintstone <laughs> that's kind what of garrett flat and just like cut <laughs> garrett has fred flintstone feet i love he has flat no. flat feet i oh, i get caught see because i want to start a foot thing oh and i, I have an, i have a height i'm sorry i have a high arch see I'm me sorry. too that's i have a high we, arch that's well, our you don't gimmick. have fred flintstone feet okay because yeah, they're see, not flat. let's see your feet let's see your feet but i but this is what's weird there was no shaving so forgive the top of the foot it does look like a panda no i oh look at her tiny feet Yes. See, no, Tammy Joe. Good. You got. Yeah, they were clammy. Now you have clammy hands. She no, touched no, my no. foot. Oh, I know <laughs> your feet, but you, you have, have really feet? nice do. feet. Do you have clammy yeah. feet. So, I don't wear socks because they're too much. Oh, I, they weren't the at all. I have to otherwise. Because of the wicking. <laughs> They weren't at all. <laughs> they weren't at all clammy, see, by look, the way. Look at that arch. Look at that. Yeah, too. Good, Daniel. I have your chest. Look at that. Look, I couldn't tell the difference between my foot and Daniel's foot. That is not true. <laughs> no, listen. Damn it, this needs to be a all right. webcast. For Here's the point. We need the, the point. truth. <laughs> we this could is so all, interesting to the listeners. <laughs> we could be making thousands on our feet. Just that alone. I know. <laughs> well, my, okay, my sister had flat feet as a kid. Mm -hmm. And do you remember those like black and white like cheerleaders used to wear them? Oh, yeah. The saddle, saddle shoes. shoes. Saddle shoes, right. So they put those, they are also very similar to these fucking orthopedic Everybody shoes. Everybody got them when them we were growing up. Well, yeah, they were cute. The fucking robot at Chuck E. Cheese, that mm -hmm. cheerleader has fucking saddle shoes on. Well, my sister had orthopedic shoes that look like those. So in an effort to make her feel normal and not flat footed, they told her they were cheerleader shoes, right? Oh. Well, then my fucking faggot ass <laughs> heard that. <laughs> And wanted to wear the shoes all the time, right? Because I was like, loophole. Loophole. Yeah. So they busted uh, me several times with my sister's pom-poms and those fucking shoes on. Oh, wow. I know. Meanwhile, I had gorgeous arches this whole time. You really do. I See? just saw your arches. I'm going to quickly tell my Chuck E. Cheese story. I was dating someone who had twins, and I'd never been to Chuck E. Cheese. 
And I used to say that it should be called Contagion 2. <laughs> <laughs> it was so disgusting. I, okay. They, the, all right. I went in. The kids were, you know, playing. And all I had to do was save the table for us. While I was waiting there, there was a woman across from me holding her daughter's hair as she puked into a clear plastic bag. Oh, my God. And I said, uh, 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 uh. And, you know, I was just like, why, why couldn't you take your daughter to the bathroom? You know, it's not sure. that. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> then I kind of turned to get up. And there is a woman coming through with her son and her daughter. I think she's holding a baby. And I actually turn and a diaper falls out of the bag full of shit. And <laughs> oh, I then, from God. then, I went outside and puked into a garbage can. <laughs> can we go back to talking about death? What I'm the fuck? <laughs> so then I called, my, I called my boyfriend at that time and said, I can't come back in. No. Yeah. So then it was like a really quiet ride all the way home. Kids hated me. <gasps> and uh, he was... It's just like, I can't come back in there. I just can't come back in. Yeah. And we, so then he had to get his kids. We're having a great time. It's and a health hazard. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I do have to, I have to say, I worked at Lowry's Primary Restaurant back mm-hmm. in the 90s. Oh, oh. Was that like white shirt tie? That no. is just, no, I want to hear about that. That Brown, was Jack's yeah. favorite. The, Brown I, dresses. It was very, it was, uh, there was a movie. He loved that, that was restaurant. Based, yeah. But it was Brown disgusting. dresses, big white collars. You look kind of like Snow White. You had a, a white hat at the time oh. that you had to pin on. Yeah. Um, no. You couldn't wear red lipstick. <laughs> that was the only color you could wear. You couldn't wear or nude. It had to be like skin colored nail polish. I mean, mm. it was, we had to have nurse mates for shoes. Was it like a cap, like a nurse's cap thing you yeah. put in? Okay, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, and then an apron and uh. you had to have your cuffs, it had to be starched and you had to have cuff links. I mean, it was nuts. Mm. But this toddler stood up and the mom held a cup or a receptacle of some kind and he just peed right there standing Whoa. up. And, uh, and I think, you know, everyone's eyes went, wow. Uh-huh. And then, um, and then, you know, they had to be asked to not do that but the things yeah. i saw there were nuts wow the, yeah. but, but did they tip <laughs> it wasn't my day it, oh my see, god I, I have had to clean up someone's baby's vomit right no vomit's different than your Come i agree on. i agree it's like and vomit's a little unpredictable but it, especially with a kid <laughs> but this kid puked everywhere and they were so shocked and just trying to sign the check and get the fuck yeah. out of there immediately right like not finish the food that they were just gone and i remember as i was cleaning up the oh. like the spew the receipt was in it do you know what i mean and like, uh. you hold it up and you can see where they signed everything but there's no money i was like i'm oh, literally yeah. cleaning this you're up. kidding me no but anyone who's waiting tables has fucking yeah. that's so awful it was in the 90s. i would i think i would follow them home you know that's a, that, are you kidding everybody has a fucking gun uh, everyone has a baby and a gun oh. this last Thursday, I've been dining out on how much fun I had on stage, and it was because it was a Tammy Joe situation. Whenever Tammy Joe <laughs> sets up a show, it's always fun. It's always, like, great audience, and... That was fun. Yeah. I liked improv better than the comedy store. Interesting. Mm. Why? Yeah. They're different. Because Tammy's not at the comedy store. She's now uh-huh. at the improv. I'm at the improv now, oh, yeah. and other venues were working on some the stuff. The store just is haunted. You don't even have to believe in ghosts. I'm like, it's just <laughs> weird energy there. Yeah. Um, I was there it, for 15 years it's this what do you think about it you were there at 15 uh-huh oh. when i started it was like there's this big comedy bubble like yeah. it just burst before like when i started there was nothing mm-hmm. like another comic was mad because i was producing shows and i didn't know her so she wasn't on the shows mm-hmm. and when i asked her i said why were you mad she goes because there were like clubs and you could do the clubs and then there were maybe 10 shows independent Mm-hmm. And I was on all those 10 shows. Mm-hmm. And then you came and you had 10 shows. Mm-hmm. Now I'm on only half the shows. Uh, <laughs> and uh. I didn't get it. But I understand her thought process, whether I liked it or not. Yeah. But but <laughs> yeah. we I didn't know. So I just kept knowing more comics and kept producing more shows all over. Mm-hmm. And um, the comedy store, was it was dark days. If the right. main room was open, mm-hmm. like if... And mm-hmm. then we were selling out before all the other shows were selling out. Sure, we were in the small room, but it was a good sign that we were bringing the people in. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that small. How many seats? Well, <laughs> we did <laughs> We did 90. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. But that's, uh, we got in trouble. And then it went to 75. Oh, okay. Packing. And then it went to 70. Uh-huh. And now 
since COVID, I think they're maybe doing 60 mm-hmm. and they still have empty seats. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. That is one of the places in LA where I'm like, please don't let an earthquake happen here. Cause the, you know what I mean? It's like, there's <laughs> few times I think about that. It's like when I'm under a bridge. You're so funny. In the belly room, you're like, please it, no. It is. Ah. I'm like, I just don't think I'm going to make it. It's not well, a cave. Uh, but, <laughs> it's not like the troubadour. It's the, oh, uh, right? it's the lighting. It's the yeah, whole, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I won't be able to But I love that room. room. But I'm glad. I'm glad you're at the improv now because it, it, that place wasn't good enough for improv's you. Improv's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, though, I was just the one in Ontario yeah. where it was like my boyfriend was late to the show because he was stopped by some puppy mill to buy puppies. I was like, that's the one. Do you know what I mean? And <laughs> oh, I was like, awful. Just trying to focus on my job. Um, and there's like a puppy market outside. I don't even know where Ontario, California is. They have a fucking airport. Where is it? Are it's... you ser- You seriously don't? Oh, I don't know where anything it's is. Like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Because when I worked at one of the restaurants, somebody said, where's Disneyland? <laughs> and I said, <laughs> Take the 10, and when you start seeing signs for Rancho Cucamonga, keep going. Uh-huh. That's, that's kind I also, of where uh, Ontario is. I've, uh, that, I've never been to Disneyland all, either. Well, it's not that way. Oh, okay. So okay. you grew up in OC? I grew up in Placentia, California. Okay. My grandparents moved here, and they moved to Hacienda Heights in like the 70s, and were here for like a year. Yeah. And I would love to know what just like outside of LA was like in like 80s and 70s and stuff. It was not my favorite place. Why? Because I was different. Mm-hmm. And what I really like about a lake versus like Orange County is in Orange County, everybody wore like the uh, letters from their college and like jeans, right? So uh-huh. everybody looked the same. Uh-huh. And you're like knee deep in this new friendship. And you're like, oh, that bitch crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, you, yeah. But here in LA, <laughs> yeah. they wear it on their outsides. I'm Absolutely. like, that bitch crazy, but I'm going to find out anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, and at that time, it was not cool to be a gay. Of course. So it was really hard. And my family's very conservative. Like, you know, it was Beatles or Elvis. They were Elvis. Mm-hmm. You know? like, yeah. And, yeah. But I relate to that. It was like, if it's Beatles or Elvis, because yeah. my fucking conservative fucking aunt and uncle in Texas. And love speaking Elvis. of, do you know about the miracle in Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, reading this right off the New York Times article. The, ding, 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 ding. the, na- <laughs> the nun who put her Abby on the map. Do you know about this? No, but she says New York Times article, but it is printed from the internet. So I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to? Do you have to sell me out? Like I know. That? I just want to paint a picture. <laughs> do you have to say that I'm a luddite and I can't really function? You know, in today's world, there's you, no laptop. There's must you have printed to, there's printed paper. paper. Yeah. All right. I'm sending you both a fax and no. fuck off. <laughs> and then that says fuck off on your, on your fax machines. <laughs> oh my god. So, but wait, what is because I have a story that relates to this. I have this. to print things out or I forget. What does it Me say? Me too. Listen, Tammy oh, okay. has it written so, on her hand. Okay, so there's a nun. No, wait, no. There, they were, there's a nun. There is a nun. She's been dead for four years, and to commemorate her life, mm. they want to move her body mm-hmm. into like a hollowed sacred ground, like mm. inside the church. And so they find out when she's exhumed that she hasn't decomposed. <gasps> <gasps> That's correct. I'm sorry. That was real. <laughs> That was real, real. And, and, and Daniel's <laughs> laughing at me. But that was real. Yeah, that was real. Was I'm, so... I'm, I'm decomposing as we speak. <laughs> me too. Oh my god. I have uh, uh, osteoporosis, so my 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 bones are like a wicker chair. Anyway, <laughs> she hasn't decomposed. She's not decomposing or whatever. And that's called in the Catholic Church, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's, it means that she is an incorruptible. Oh, I th- I, I love doing this shit because I was I had to look. What it does all that up. mean? So in her <laughs> life, she, apparently, yeah, no, this is. <laughs> She's so pure that it has like preserved her body. I She's guess. a saint, or yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. incorruptible. Yeah. yeah, I guess it means that parts of your body mm-hmm. don't deteriorate because they're not corrupted Hopefully or whatever. It could parts. just be the food we eat today, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> exactly. And the GMO, <laughs> and you know, Tammy Joe, that's another thing. Or that nobody mentions she died because she they drank also, bleach. They, they have the. <laughs> They have the scientific reason also, but... but she really liked it? gelatin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she snorted collagen. This is like body worlds. Yeah. Did she, you see that? She drank no. embalming fluid. No. That's no. exactly... Yeah. She... No, but Daily. anyway... She had a good so deal. there are like 20,000 people per week that come to visit this body. In, yeah. in this small place. Ooh, in this small town dough. in Kansas. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so that's that. So in Italy, where I've never been, north of Milan is the tomb of St. Ambrose. Uh-huh. And St. Ambrose, their body is laid in state or whatever you fucking call it. And it's this jeweled dead body, kind, now kind of skeletal. But the reason she's on display is because for years she didn't deteriorate. Oh, wow. But they attributed that to the sainthood. 
Uh. I have this friend who's a Ukrainian Orthodox priest. I always talk about him, but he looks like Santa Claus. But he used his weird religious credentials to get access to the tomb, a private viewing, but he actually got to go in and like touch it. Ew. He has photos. I've seen so, the photos. Okay, so what you don't know, Body Worlds, you don't know it? Uh, it's no, where they do it? art out of... It was um, yes. exhibitions yes. at different museums across. Mm. Oh, so, but, but they did... Well, okay. They they <laughs> they injected bodies with it called plastification. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now your body dead is sliceable. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. It's like it looks like it looks like a side of beef. Yep. And yeah, they and yeah. they show you all kinds of different things. Oh, all okay. I know is I was sitting there looking at the knee replacement. It was just like oh. the the leg. <laughs> uh-huh. And I'm staring and I'm staring at this knee replacement. It was so shiny. I was like, this is amazing. And then I realized that the penis was gonna to too, and uh-huh. I was just sitting there and I was staring at the penis uh, and then I'm like oh my god because so I can't tell you how long I was sitting there staring at right. it uh, right. and I'm like I gotta get I've seen one before this is what I wanted to tell everyone, you everyone's like lady there's a line <laughs> I know. you've had your time but yeah that's it was <laughs> you, I wonder what they what they ate or what it was prosciutto cost, it was pr- <laughs> yeah it was and you got to hold a brain we saw one on display which was shocking, like a human brain yeah, like in a jar. Yeah, it was plastificationed. Oh, on display. And you could put your hands in this box and hold the brain. I've seen my brain. You have? <laughs> Did they take a picture? Well, yeah, I've got the, you know, it's amazing, like, because I had a brain aneurysm in 2020 and can't, st- and I'm she still dining out on it. She fucking loves to brag it. about I know, this. I, I know. <laughs> I, you know, I keep thinking that something's going to hit me. Is it still affecting that re- you? Yeah. Like I what? feel like I can't remember things. My mom says I've always been that way. Maybe it's um, as we collect birthdays. <laughs> oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. Don't you dare. <laughs> easy. Don't you motherfucking I'm like, dare. I know I felt myself <laughs> back then. <laughs> Don't you dare you say, as we age, if I have I one, if I hear that. that from one more fucking I said, pr- collect I my birthdays. Dad, you think it's hot in here now. Age. I was like, oh, look, you're just cleaning my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. I, and I know, okay? And I'll say that I know why Laura is so thin mm. because we're sitting in a hot. <laughs> Steamer. God damn it. She's just sweating it out. I'm like, I have, it's like a sauna in here. Listen, uh, I, uh, Tammy Joe, I begged you when I to leave, put on a robe, I, put on a t-shirt. I didn't know. I mean, and you know, and it's because this house, okay, it was built in 1930. We allegedly have AC. I'm going to be like 30 pounds lighter. when. So I, I almost wore my bathing suit over here and this shirt. Up. No, well, because I was like, but I'm, I'm well, now long, it's coming out. white, ugly It's legs. unbearable to like, be here. It is. I've with had Tammy four Joe. bottles of water I I, and I, I still haven't gone to the bathroom right. i'm just so tired i'm sweating it out there's okay. salt right well my- they canceled burning man because of the rain so we're just having it at laura's house <laughs> okay all right i kind of like it actually it's terrible it's no it keeps the brain going can i just i need to say two things one mm. is that daniel mm. when you came on my purview mm. you like exploded onto the comedy scene oh thank and you so i really like excited I, to be here thank you that. and laura i remember watching you and just loving you and how twisted and wonderful and female forward so i'm just mm-hmm. so grateful that you guys oh stop you. Oh, and you I, well you know when i the first time i did your show bitch at the building room I was like, God, she's so funny. I wanted you to do more time up front. You got kind of did your like five minutes and watching everybody else. But everyone else was like, uh, they didn't want you to go. Like the audience mm-hmm. was like, mm-hmm. let's have more Tammy mm-hmm. Joe. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. I it's really true. I didn't do stand up since pre-COVID. And then I think I'm warming back up to it. But, you know. Was there a thing about that? Were you just like. Well, we, during COVID, we created a live mm-hmm. drive-in stand-up comedy. Which was a blast. And, and like one of the only shows right. happening in Los exactly. Angeles of all places. Like, and we were seriously. the only one that I knew that was legal, to be honest, because oh, the other yeah. ones weren't. That was another time where I had a truly amazing time and mm-hmm. a, a, a blast. And it was fun to do stand-up. Mm-hmm. Eddie Pepitone yep. was my backup dancer mm-hmm. that night in the parking lot. <laughs> so funny. I think I have a video of it. Oh, I'm so yes. glad. I just, that was so. It was so I, great. That was a great, such a great time. You started stand-up in the 90s? I think it was 92 or 3. Okay. And then... In LA? In Orange County. Do you know uh, Wise Guys? Have you been to Wise mm-hmm. Guys? So do you know the owner? Yeah, Keith I met Stubbs? him. Yeah, yeah. Um, in so, Salt Lake. Yeah. Uh, Keith and I dated. Oh, wow, yeah. It was like the oh. last boyfriend I ever had. Uh-huh. And um, <laughs> Don't tell him that. Does he yeah, know that? he still he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he does, he it does. He just thinks ego. you're having a long-distance relationship. <laughs> I think my is. husband is the last boyfriend <laughs> I've ever had. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
he built a great club though. I mean, I don't know he has more than yeah, one. Yeah, now like, he, I think he's got Vegas now too. Yeah, but the Amazing. SLC one is and just, Dry Bar I think is him. Yeah, but yeah. structurally even it's like a great room, I all that been there. stuff. Yeah, but you know great. this is what I love about Tammy Joe. I think it really matters when someone is a funny comic putting shows together, producing mm-hmm. shows, because it's it, just a better vibe and people know. I mean, it's difference. not like just... I appreciate you saying that. No, yeah. but it's so true. I mean, I'll have some other hosts, but sometimes I feel like, <laughs> strangely, when they're trying to take over, I'm like, that's yes. not my vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah. 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 And so I love them and I might put them on spots, but when I have a host, it's usually somebody that brings the vibe that I feel mm-hmm. will extend what we have. Mm-hmm. Um, everything since COVID has been, I feel like the ground shifting under my feet, you know, and trying to find my new sea legs in our Mm -hmm. place. And I feel like we're starting over. The improv Mm -hmm. in particular, I feel like their template and just everything really started. You know what I mean? The store had some crazy resurgence just prior to it, Mm -hmm. but like the improv, I feel like their booking style is different since COVID. Yeah. Um, And, and they're pulling a lot of big names. And mm -hmm. I know that the different clubs, like, the comedy store, great. They've got their own regulars. It's not everybody on the planet. So if somebody comes into town, they're not putting them on their shows. Mm-hmm. And so they're showcasing a lot of the people that they're picking. But that may not be everyone's pick. Yeah, right. Yeah. But in LA, I similarly, it's like everything changed. So yeah. there's a lot of people feeling like they started over yeah. or coming, you know what I mean? Like starting a new year, like, don't you know I produced a show for 15 fucking years at the store? Things like that. <laughs> yeah, I never, yeah, yeah, you know, I never no, said that. No, I know. <laughs> but like things like that, you know, like all the show stuff shifted. Even the people everything who produce it every so who... what so what i saw even in sports like mm-hmm. look at like the women's u.s soccer team mm-hmm. like these champions had to hold steady mm-hmm. till it was over meanwhile these other people are doing 10 times the push-up yep. to like get mm-hmm. there yep. so when the comedy store wasn't like in session essentially they were still kind of forming kind of a new team of people yeah. mm-hmm. whether or not you like them there's many i do like you know yeah. or support but also you have to have some of them that are already known. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right now I feel like they're drawing just based on the club, not yeah. the names. Or TikTok yeah. or whatever. Well, that that, that's real for me too as a yeah. booker. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. W- in the beginning when it was just Facebook uh-huh. and then it was just Twitter, right? It was just Facebook and Twitter. Mm-hmm. This this guy was like, I have 40,000 followers on Twitter. And I'm like, and Who cares? you're not funny. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, it's and, amazing. Then, and then created like a group online on one of the social network platforms saying I need to be thrown in a ditch and set oh, on no. fire. Oh, no. Because I'm not booking oh, other gays. Oh my God. I got more than really? canceled. I was burned. What? Are you kidding? Yeah. For not booking gays? Because I'm you're gay. You're like, hello. And I'm like, I don't book you because uh-huh. you're a woman like me uh-huh. or blonde and blue haired like me because I'm beautiful. Just kidding. Right. Yeah. Or, wow. or because you know, I'm gay or whatever it is or mm-hmm. orange, can- whatever it is mm-hmm. I am. I don't book you because you're like me. Mm-hmm. I book you because you're funny. Yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. So that was a, a totally. <laughs> <laughs> he's had it. That's, right? that's, that's Murphy. One he's second. had too much intimacy. That kind he's, of fucking out he's of He's had it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tammy, do you actually have to audition people? So in the or, be- they, or do people send you stuff? It's different these days. Oh. So when I was producing shows in the beginning, I only knew bringers. Mm-hmm. I didn't know other because yeah. I had mm-hmm. started doing a show with somebody and you had to bring them. Oh, this is how everybody does it. Yeah. And I'm like, even Andrew Dice Clay is a bringer because he mm-hmm. fills the stadium. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, if you're not, then why bother? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the club's not making money. This is- So mm-hmm. I was doing a lot of those. And then as it got more popular, because... I know the arc of how to book. Like it's mm-hmm. constantly funny, mm-hmm. even with these new comics, because of the way I learned how to do things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it got more popular at the comedy store. Then all at once, we don't even have bringers. We just have big names and comics that are up and coming. Mm-hmm. So that's when it was, and I worked for JFL and this, all oh, of that. Oh, yeah. So when I was like getting so many submissions, but I'll be honest, it was like, I would know immediately if I was watching somebody just their choice. Yeah. Sometimes the choice of the joke that they started with, or this is the tape they sent me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you might be funny, but this isn't the energy matching my brand, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And plus it's like, if this is the best you have and it's not that great. Yeah. Where do we it's, begin? Yeah. yeah. So I was on a panel for the Burbank comedy festival about like, they were talking about sending a tape and everything. And I said, you know, be careful 
because you only get that one chance yeah. to make that first impression. Yep. And it's okay to meet me and to talk to me. Mm-hmm. And like, that's great. But if I'm I'm not even asking and it's an unsolicited tape, yeah. Yeah. I typically don't watch them. Oh, yeah. That because not, it's fucking, it'll shorten your lifespan. Or well, you I'm not <laughs> usually looking, so I need something else, like mm-hmm. a, a referral. Right. Well, that really helps. Well, Daniel and I were in the uh, Burbank Comedy Festival, uh-huh. and it really kind of like skyrocketed our, our careers. I Did think I, it was really a boost. I, Laura asked me to open for it and inadvertently got me in. Did I tell you I got invited to perform at Best in the Fest? I'm glad. But I was in Hawaii. So. You know, first of all, I wasn't, <laughs> so I I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, you were the headliner. No, but that's amazing. I and know, but I meant to thank you for that. Thank you. But I... Um, but I, I, re- didn't, I didn't get to accept the honor. I really like Josh, and I only just started going out there, and I, re- I realize it's um, too far to go. But I love it. It's too far? It's too I far. like it, but Burbank is too far to go. Really? Even from here, that's surprising. There's this acai bowl place in fucking Burbank <laughs> that is worth it. That I'm is just oh you, really worth the drive. I like. I, I will drive for some acai. It's bowl. so good. I like, and a set. I'm telling you, I like trying doing a new place, especially if it's kind of far out, because it makes me spend the day thinking of a new open. Oh, and my oh thing, yeah. And my thing for that night was it's so nice to be in Burbank, away from all the trappings of success. Yes, that was brilliant. <laughs> I mm-hmm. uh, I kind of just want to just follow with Tammy Joe because uh, I feel like you always bring good audiences. Thank you for saying that. Booking is fun because you do get to kind of like I when I ran a show with Steph, we loved Steph uh, Tolo. Oh yeah, we had it was called Hags. Um, but we loved having like a list of people and being like, how can we cook this? You know what I mean? Like you have so many ingredients to choose from, right? Yeah. How can what's the best recipe out of these options? Kind of mm-hmm. thing. But other than how are you promoting it? Because um, that's the trick. I mean, we did good. Steph has a crazy huge following, but we were really proud of the kind of show we ran. Mm -hmm. Like we allotted ourselves as good hosts, but then we'd get out of the way and we just ran fast sets. Everybody did 10 minutes and get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. Because really nobody wants to hear. And then we only did five comics. We limited it. And we kind of when people wanted to do a spot, we said no. Short show. Yeah. And it really just ran and bing, bang, boom. So I think that brought people back. But we treat ourselves like hosts. I, mm-hmm. I think in the same way you're yep. saying, it's like, this is our show. We want to set a tone and then please enjoy all these people that we also love. I had a lot of themed shows. I was like, hey, to a friend, a comic, I said, come with me. I want to find a venue. And it was like the first place we dipped into. I literally live like a block and a half from this place. And we dipped in and they're like, hey, can we do a comedy show? And they're like, yeah. I said, what night? They're like, what night is it right now? Tuesday. <gasps> Tuesday night. Mm. How great. So then we started doing Tuesdays, we started doing Thursdays, we started doing Fridays, we started doing Sundays, we had five nights a week, you know, mm, we're doing, damn. and then we, I was like, okay, we got to make this different. I was running 16 open mics Shoof, a, a month, much. and then I had like 40 shows a month that I was producing or co-producing or had a hand in in some way. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, um... And which was great. You're like Zigpil. Zigpil follows. <laughs> that's, that's too but much. But the problem was I wasn't making any money. How? Because. Mm-hmm. I mean, why? I be- see. Yeah. Yeah. He, he sees. Like 16 open mics. Mm-hmm. That's not making any money. Oh, because and people then, don't actually it, show up. Well, we had we had some audience. Yeah. But mostly it was like comics and stuff like that. Uh, so When you're doing that much, you're doing the work just to burn the work. Or you're just, you know what I mean? Like you're well, trying to provide all these spaces. But yeah, you and know. and I felt like I was part of the community. Mm-hmm. So then my wife uh, went to law school, lots of things, changed her mind. We came back home and she's like, you know, what am I going to do? And she started working with me. Then we started making money. And then oh. it became our livelihood. But it takes that. Like, it's like you can be business minded, but it takes sometimes someone outside of the performance space, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To be like, this is how you can like monetize the situation. I wish we had one place, just the three of us. Like, um, that, yeah. I mean, that we could always to go. live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do it, Laura. Let's we need a commune. But that's I it. Guess. That's what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I'm you looking are. for a, a, a small venue, you know, 50 to 75 seats. It could be 100, but that's a, like, uh-huh. I just want to start the grind again and mm-hmm. go back to weekly, maybe two to three shows a week mm-hmm. and just grind it out, get back into the community, stay with the higher profile comics mm-hmm. that are in town whenever mm-hmm. and just grind it back out because that was when I was happiest. Yeah. There is something satisfying after being on so many kind of like off kilter comedy shows or shows that are run for people who maybe have no interest in the actual show they're producing to go to a well curated show and be treated like. Yeah. Not even royal, you know what I mean? But just be treated yeah. maybe respectfully. Or like, yeah. hey, we're all here to Bless do the you. same thing. 
when you were performing in the 90s, were you running? Or like when you started, were you doing no. shows or you're just straight, I'm a comedian? Well, actually, Keith was trying to run a show and we started to put a show together, but that didn't pan out. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I was just performing and I was like blindly brave and I was doing great at first. And then, well, I f had my first bomb and it didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I was gay. Yeah. And <gasps> Wait, so Keith pushed you out of the closet, basically. It, well, he made me Why gay. was he so... Yeah. It's his fault. It's always what? a man's fault. I mean, didn't why? have an inkling. Yeah. <laughs> why, why was Keith so repulsive that you... Uh, <laughs> so you were performing Living as a Straight Woman, and then... Yep. Okay, and, wow. Well, what really hit me was I was at a show in Orange County, just a small show, and I was in the audience, and then the, the person started doing crowd work, someone I knew, and she goes, I thought you were lesbian and i had already been like toying with that mm -hmm. you know uh -huh. i felt so exposed I'm like <gasps> when you're on stage you're so naked yeah. that i'm like i can't yes. so i had i moved to la because i wanted to do stand up and then i didn't do stand up for 14 years damn wow after that moment um it was like a couple things but yeah in a row yeah, yeah. i think people don't get that you can be a full functioning adult not that you're not functioning but like you know just living your life and then all of a sudden you're like oh shit i am gay oh yeah people don't really get like kids today um, uh -huh. kids. but they can be out and <laughs> it's safe matter? you know yeah. and you have all these examples to choose from right? right and like i feel like lesbian where like gay women in media did not exist you maybe had paul lind you had like shades of like the the gay man uh -huh. but i mean well, you I, had lily tomlin but right she but wasn't she, out yeah exactly like she wasn't even and, you it know, wasn't like you're like is she from colorado you yeah know? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even like yeah. confused yeah. exactly yeah. but for that what's reason you know what's different about her and Wait, who, Colorado. what's that woman's name? She was the boss on Bosom Buddies. She's older. Oh, um, Holland yes. Taylor. Yes, I think. Oh she, my gosh. She, she's <laughs> the hell did I? How the hell did I think Holland of that? It was so weird. When Holland. I drink, when I drink, I'm clear. You know, it's like that old. It is like the old. You said it like there was a you machine. You haven't had an saying, aneurysm. You just no. haven't watched anything since 1980s on the fucking Laura. No, Update the database. I know, but you know, it, 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 it reminds me of. <laughs> A really old, um, episode. like Tony Bennett when the music comes on. No, you know, the oh old, my god, he's back. That's it was, awesome. you guys, also Billy. It was an old Campbell. episode of The Odd, mm -hmm. it was an old either episode of Lucy or The Odd Couple where somebody drinks and they become quicker. Yeah. Oh, Which that's is so me. weird. I don't remember. Oh, anyway. I always thought that was me. Because oh, okay. when I quit but... smoking cigarettes, I thought my brain slowed. Just so you know, everyone, he acted out smoking a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I always do because I miss it. You did it like you actually had <laughs> been drinking curls a martini. and long it. hair again. I did. <laughs> yeah. But he I, felt the wind in his hair. I, I Wait a second. You knew Dan, did you know Daniel when he was a, a long hair? Yeah. No. Oh, we didn't know. Oh, you didn't? No, we didn't know no. each other. Oh, oh, oh. Because I did. You, you have great hair, though. It looks amazing right now. The same girl. When I had long hair, it was same girl. Rough. Well, ah. when I cut my hair, I You're was. You're the, the same, same girl, must, or the same girl uh, cut the your same, hair? The same. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on with you, <laughs> you gay have people. Great yeah. hair. Oh, yeah. I do too. Oh. But you, this is your second updo. You started with the bun on your head, and then I know. I had to have a complete costume change because I. Okay, I bought it. Because you knew how hot it was going to be in I'm, mel I'm a melting. I'm it's a so god hot. Yeah, we need to do I, Maybe break. we need to do it naked. <laughs> Dan, you is in a new relationship. I am. And well, a year. It's been a year already? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I love the way but you two it. met because I think it's really bizarre. Daniel is a photographer and he's really amazing. And uh -huh. he was taking photographs of naked men no. in a spa no, without letting I them was know. Not. Um, I the, was the, not. the spas at the. We met. Well, we met on a sex app, as you do. No, but no. he saw me taking pictures. No, you were. He That's was how you and I met. Is he? <laughs> I didn't know Wait, if you've ever no, been on. You were taking, as I recall, mm -hmm. you were out on the beach and yes. you were taking pictures of people, just random people surfing. Surfers. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and then you me. found out that one of them was. Mm -hmm. I'll let you tell it because I'm making it really. Well, boring. just that he was like, because I was talking about taking pictures and in pandemic, I was like, I used to drive to Malibu almost every day. Um, and then I was like, and that's when I started getting like kind of hypnotized by the surfers, mm. um, especially like in cold weather, early morning. So I just go take a bunch of photos of him. And he was like, I saw a dude in a black hoodie and I was just, just taking pictures, you know, we like could metadata it down to January and I could match that there's photos of me taking surfer pictures that huh? day. So he did see me at Surfrider. But then, so, but you had a photo of him before you he met. He has to be one of 
many dots in the ocean because like i'm up on the <laughs> i'm on the bluff and there's a bunch of surfers Dada. so he has to be one of them but like yeah he, is that your nickname dotty <laughs> no. i was gonna say that don't, don't use that for the vows he was many dots in the ocean but, are you getting married no we're not getting married but i mean uh, we're, but you want we're to into and he it doesn't? yeah no no, no <laughs> he's into i feel I, what he, the hell is going on he, <laughs> tell him now or never he has that language but i'm always like as a gay person i marriage not as a concept but as like a ceremony and that whole thing always was felt like silly right i like it i like weddings in the whole like prom. i want to get married the, again you do uh, like redo you it should. he yeah. wants to i'm yeah. not against it i just like I, for ceremonial i'm like well we're, we're just making it up like, no yeah doing? yeah you are and it's wonderful did you have a ceremony? oh my gosh Garrett and I were married at the the Cesar Chavez, whatever you call it. Just as Just, Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. The Cesar <laughs> Chavez. It was so low rent. You know, you don't need a witness now. So it was the two of us and this guy who had, something was wrong with his hand. So he couldn't even <laughs> hand us our certificate. <laughs> Garrett had to take the certificate once we had it. But that was and the only way you could get someone to not object. Does yeah. anyone have to not object to this marriage? Yeah, Raise their no hand. arms. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sold. And of course, Garrett's crying like a baby. Uh-huh. Mm. I would not be too. No, no, he goes like, oh no, you know, don't let me marry this awful person. No. <laughs> and uh, and I'm kind of just laughing because I'm the only woman there that's not pregnant. And <laughs> and way over tw- right. and way over twenty, uh-huh. uh, and uh, and it's funny because there are couples waiting, you know. And then no, it's a very short ceremony. And I, what I thought was really cute was they had like this kind of cheap lattice, like this this wood lattice thing, and then plastic vines that were over it, oh, and God. that was. That was your walk. Yes. It was like two it's, seconds and, and to the podium. And when did Elvis come in? I know. I'm like, I don't know. It wasn't even that. Was that this included with the Olive that, Garden meal? Like, did they? That would have been high class. Endless salad no. and a wedding? No, this was more like the parking ticket. Uh, <laughs> like, what are we here for? Oh, we're getting married. There was a June. Or we're in line at the DMV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be nice if you no, could get I married? No, I want to have a real, I, I think Garrett and I should have a real wedding yes. yeah. ceremony. I want to have it at a skating rink. Oh my God. We can yes. do that. All right. You roller skate? Yeah. You roller skate? Yeah. Yeah. I prefer rollerblading because I'm a hundred. No. You <laughs> I love that? to rollerblade. Even, have you been to Moonlight Rollerway? Yes. 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 Do you go on the queer night? I have. It's too many people. I went on the the senior night by mistake and I got in trouble for skating too fast. <gasps> <gasps> They're like young lady, but I was going fast. But <laughs> that, that's hilarious. It's been a long time. We went as post pandemic, right when things were opening up. We'd that go to was... Moonlight, but the queer night is when also fucking these queer families bring their goddamn children to show culture and uh... all this shit. But none of these kids can skate, right? So like the only night for us, you have to kind of like bow and get out of the way. For Wait a second, so learn. Daniel, what you're saying is like when queer people have an offspring, no uh-huh. matter how they do it, uh-huh. they are uncoordinated. They can't skate. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's going to be something wrong. <laughs> Queer See, kids can't skate? Yeah, like when you... Well, they you have know, to rebel somehow. Well, we don't like queer kids. Yeah, yeah no. queer we don't like any kids. No, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it, but we don't like it. Ah, that's so funny. But go ahead. Um, no, that was just it. I was like, so we start going on the non-queer night. You thought it would be kind of less... sexy? No, they were... Well, no, because you know, you thought it was gonna... with my people. Oh, I see. But they also play like all fucking Donna Summer or every other song. I want to like... tell you a little bit about my wedding. <laughs> I love Donna Summer, and I don't know why. I don't know. Why. I do too, but why not everyone you... is a disco roller gay. Like, I'm going to have you know to I mean? see your gay card because I, I feel like you, I don't you, know what's happening. I'm it's not like, anti. I think it's lapsed. And my boyfriend is Hawaiian, and he's Ooh. a he's a like designer and all this crazy. That's so where he, you need to get married. He would have a great oh my gosh ceremony, on the beach right? Would be amazing. So yeah, I We're would just leave going. it to him. Yeah, I just invited go. myself. Yeah, well, I just want to be the one who shows up. Tammy, Joe, and I happen to like disco because that's just who I like disco too. But do you like who? Disco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I just Absolutely. don't want to roller skate to it every I song. rented out the Moonlight Rollerway when I turned 29. Mm. I rented it out between midnight and 2 a.m. Amazing. And it was disc. I have pictures. I, I like big parties and yeah. themed parties for uh-huh. my birthday. And we did um, disco and whatever, and it was just my friends. It was and, a blast. Did you and, learn how to, do, to, how to skate backwards and do disco dancing, uh, skating? I was I doing, want to learn that. I was doing rollerblades. 
Oh, even then? So, but why? At the, they let you do that at the skating That's, rink? Yeah. They let you do them there. Uh-huh. I thought you had to use shoes. I don't know why. I just thought you had to use better on skates. The, I'm better on the roller blades. I had no idea. But you said because I'm 100 years old. Do you think that blades are more dated than yes. quads? I think they're coming back. Quads? <laughs> quads are like, that's the standard. Yeah. When you go skating, it's quads. Yeah. I can't believe you call them quads. <laughs> that's what that's I... a roller skate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, blades. What, what do you call it when you have a roller skate? Quads. He's got, I love you make terms for everything. You know, Daniel is skating on quad, quadriplegic. <laughs> and I, I'm not happy about they it. They can't slow me down. I that's know, when you use a wheelchair. Yeah. On the ramp, you, you can't use their wheels as a skate. It's you a know, you can't. Yeah, they, so it, it stands in their lap. Have you ever gone out at uh, what's the dam? Fuck, what's a uh, Sepulveda dam? No. Oh, you should. Why it's, to skate? Oh, to blade. Is it, is it asphalt? <laughs> to blade. Uh-huh. To blade. Yeah. Then no, I want oh. I want smooth yeah. concrete. So the beach. Oh yes, I love going. Yes. yes. Well, because we. I first yes. I was like, well, come cause... and knock on our door. I, I, I honestly was like, she's not talking. Three's company, company I honestly thought you were like. I was like, well, she's certainly not skating on sand. But then no, I thought, oh right. God. I was like, yeah, like yeah. Your inner, inner, the boardwalk. There, there should certainly. be sand skates. <laughs> no, I think we've just invented something. I can fuck up your Achilles in two seconds. It will be those um those bouncy things. Moon boots. You know, he knows like <laughs> oh, a really? term for everything. Oh, I know. I He's incredible. But, but, I got but you. Roller blades to me are, are newer than yeah, roller but, skates. Yeah, because they Very came out in the 90s. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's why I'm saying because that was that was the thing. And then I, it you. stuck with me. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're back. Okay, then yes, roller blade Because Barbie, because Ken had them. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Did you see the movie? No, I didn't. Oh. No. Don't go. Why? <laughs> What? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ah. I do like roller skating when I wear something flowy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. if you like at uh, your disco party, did you wear? I had on the tequila Sheila outfit. Uh huh. Yeah. Same outfit. Uh, yeah. Well, I can fucking Three's Company. I want to fucking be dressed like Mrs. Roper. Oh but yeah. But on wheels. Remember that? Yeah. And Mr. Furley. Oh, Mrs. Furley. That's what I'm thinking. Well, Mrs. Wait, Fur- who was Don Knotts? He, Don Knotts was Mr. Mr. Furley. Furley. He oh, didn't oh. have a. He didn't have a miss. It was the other old guy. Uh, you know what? Growing up, uh, Norman landlord. Fell. Norman Fell. They're the landlords. My, right? my friends. Um, I know went that to school with. Greg Knott. I want Holland some, Taylor. I want, I want some Daniel Webb appreciation and a Daniel Webb club Norman of not remembering people's names. That was Norman amazing. Bell. Holland, like you it like came from the bowels of your it soul. Holland Taylor. Thank you um, for mentioning my brain surgery. That was pre aneurysm brain. My, my pre aneurysm brain was working right we there. We threw my nana in a fucking home, and she what? was like, she wasn't, she wasn't like talking, right? She wasn't communicating. Her all her daughters, you know, were like, "Mom, are you ready for lunch?" Did she you have know? Alzheimer's? Well, she was, you know, degenerating. Is that the word you say? Like mentally, right? Yeah, it's, she was slowing down. But <laughs> I don't know the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia. They're all there's an umbrella. Dementia is a the umbrella. Yeah. Oh, okay. So is it right here? <laughs> no, but I'm saying my she, father-in-law has Alzheimer's. Okay. They were like trying to communicate with her, right? Well, meanwhile, my I had ordered the Dean Martin celebrity roast on DVD, uh. um, and so while well, I talked to my, I saw my grandmother. She's just staring in the chair. I go, Nana, I got the Angie Dickinson because I knew they. Went oh to yeah, that I one. met her. Uh, what? Yes. So I told my nana, I was like, I got the Angie Dickinson roast on DVD this week, and out of nowhere, she goes, Ding. She's oh. like, she wore the most beautiful aqua chiffon gown and yeah. just went into uh, the description. Yeah. She Holland tailored me. I'm a huge fan <laughs> of hers. How did you meet her? Yeah, tell me that. Restaurant I worked at. Yes. And she's nice. She's incredible, right? <sighs> and beautiful. Of course. Yes. But this was uh, 90. Five? Mm. Oh, amazing. One of my favorite Tori Amos lyrics is my best impression, my best Angie Dickinson. <laughs> Which oh. is, I love that lyric. Wait, okay, so you worked, you waited tables in. Are oh. you a computer? <laughs> he really, he's something else. But wait, Daniel, uh, it is really you. Flea. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Billy yes, Barty. Uh, yes. uh, I waited on George Foreman. Amazing. Phyllis Man. Diller. Yes, wait. Okay, wait. Walk me through uh, the Phyllis Diller. Tell me who the, the. Charlie's Angels? Charlie's Angels. Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Smith. Yeah. Oh my God. You wait. know who's so pretty that when I saw her, like, I know I'm gay. I get mm, that. Mm. But she's so pretty. I I was like, this is unbelievable. Mm. Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, I believe it. Are you kidding? Her eyes. Yeah. Sure. There's the movie where she plays the lady 
dead at the bottom of the lake and she looks stunning. Do you know what I mean? Like she's <laughs> oh, yeah. so hot. And and she fiber. Oh, and she's lifted so up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so wait, walk on her own power. The Phyllis Diller, though, that's amazing. I didn't wait on her. But you she saw just, her. She was at Lowry's. Amazing. You could, yeah. You could hear, uh, her. See her, hear her laugh, see her wig, and you're like, <gasps> Yeah. Did you yeah. do like a close orbit? Were you trying to walk? Closer? I tried, but yeah. you, 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 you know. can't. Yeah. 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 You can't see her. And then um, I wait on uh, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Oh, Don Rickles kissed me on the lips. Shut what? up. This wow. one's funny. We were singing. It was Father's Day. And, and it, that's inappropriate. And it, was his, and it was his birthday. <laughs> consent, yeah. But. And um, you wow. know his wife? Yeah. Uh, very vocal. If I didn't, then I would have married my... Barbara. I think so. Right? Okay, sorry. So uh, it was his birthday and it was Father's Day and we sing... Mm. Happy birthday, and it was like Papa or something. And then he took <laughs> no. my my fellow coworker took my coworker's hand and mm. kissed his her hand. Mm. And I'm like, oh, I want I want to kiss. And I walked over, and I grabbed to shake it to get the hand kissed. Mm. And he pulled me in for a kiss. Wow. And I'm like, oh, like oh, oh no, like wow. oh, lizard lips, you know. And it was literally and, a man oh, with no lips. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I take like three steps, and I hear her go, "Well, why'd you do that?" Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> And I'm like, my thoughts exactly. Oh my god, <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Is... She wanted a kiss. Wow. You're like they're coming back. Whoa. Why'd you do that? That she is was... get it so where you get it where you Uh-oh, can. That's Barbara now. That's my wife. That's oh. Um, she said, "Would you stop reliving the Don I, Rickles kiss?" I've waited tables, and one of the best things you can have is like a famous person in the restaurant, even if it's I, not oh, your table, right? Bobby Sherman. Aw, what? You know who that is? Yes. Oh, he was. So cute. I know he was still cute. I think I was in Barney's or some department store and I saw Frankie Avalon <gasps> and he was still really handsome. Yeah. I was like, wow. I mean, really tan, but he you just know. played somewhere. He's alive, right? I don't know. I know I had to think about it myself. I don't know. Or is it Perry Como? He's dead. <laughs> Let's just one think of about... them. <laughs> That's a segment. Who's alive and who's, who's yeah. dead? Who, well, we just dead. call it who's dead. Well, can I tell you this? I can't remember. I feel bad. My dog, Diesel. No. no. I'm, I'm so, sorry about that. My friend, it's her game with her sister. They're Persian. But they're, it's like their like American culture game is they do dead tic-tac-toe at the beginning oh, of God. the year. Mm-hmm. Right? And so whoever has the money, dead people at the end of it. So we played this year. And so far, I'm winning. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, I have to find out who. who I won't you, say on you air. You have to predict. No. Well, I, you Bob have to, Barker was one of them. Really? No. Tina Turner I, was one of them. No. Wait, I feel bad about that. For that, that one. I hate you. See, I told you we're bleeping this. Wait, but let, wait a second. Because I felt bad. But, but here's the I'm reason. I'm a huge Me they give too. Tina Turner fan. Do they Fuck give it. you a list of. of no, you of, just pick. You just out of your You I, picked. Out of blue. I, I, he caused it. I want. No, he that's really a, did. Listen, I bought. You're a witch. I bought the bodyguard <laughs> on DVD, and the next day, Whitney Houston died. Well, yeah, that, that's a heartbreaking one. Yeah, I can't even listen to a song without feeling sad. For oh, Whitney I or know. Tina, Tina, Wit, oh. Tina, Whitney Tina and- was actually sick and she could let go. Did All you right. ever have you ever listened to her uh, chanting? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm so into Nam it. Yes, 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 I went. Yes. I, went I went to the Buddhist. I used to dabble in mm. in uh, Buddhism, yeah. and I went to one of the friendship centers. And I just have too much of a sense of humor. Like mm-hmm. things make me laugh. Mm-hmm. And I sat. <laughs> Guy, and it felt like a race car. He'd go, Nam you, ring it, kill, Nam you, ring it, kill, Nam you. And he kept doing it, no. and I was just tears out of my, and I had to leave. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't, Nam you, ring it. Oh my God, crazy. That's but, amazing. And that was so funny. Um, but it's just meditation through vibration. Yeah. She yeah. well to that point I was working. I was writing and then I was for, I was on a Tina Turner or K-hole, but this is before she died. <laughs> just going down cuz she's a brilliant interview, right? She's the, great. the way she talks about her past and just everything. Everything. Um, Which and, she didn't want to talk about it anymore. Exactly, right? She had I these, don't know that we're going to do any better than Tammy Joe's race car uh, Buddhism. But thing. she her on Larry King. <laughs> she Larry's like I hear you chant. And so or I okay. hear you're into Buddhism or something yeah. like that. And so she he asked you her to see chant. his puppet strings holding him up. Oh, yeah. So oh bizarre. My God. But she chants for like 
40 seconds on his show yeah. and it was one of those where you're writing and my brain exploded i was like what is that i did that like that like yeah i think it was a mixture of things like she also brought an energy that you were like whatever she's doing mm -hmm. i want this yeah in my life you know i have to disparage uh larry king i mean it, <laughs> even for money like when you're done having sex with him it seems like you just hang him up by the the, 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 the suspenders, suspenders. <laughs> they actually the wall. have the little box that he goes in with the other ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, ah, shit. How do we get, I, can we just take this out? I want to give this to the goodwill. Good night, honey. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Click, I've click, done my click, part. Click. How many feet have you seen on a plane recently? <laughs> Like, I turned around, there was a foot on my armrest. No. And then the person in front of me had turned to the side, so their foot was just out. No. Yes. And then I come... I mean, you're awful. just obviously not flying first class. Yeah. <laughs> no. I tell Margaret that <laughs> you, you don't want to be in baggage claim. Tell her that you, you, you can't be put in a cage Stop. with other animals. What? Stop you flying want to be in blue. Front. I have a fucking feature slash steerage. I don't That's, give a those damn. Those are the rules. Tell Margaret like, you if, need to be flying with if people. If I'm flying and I can smell... <laughs> The hair of the person in front of me. I'm in the wrong you You're in the wrong. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I used to remember my favorite thing about like the old days was when poor people couldn't fly because then people kept their shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the days. Daniel, Those are I the love days. you. And with that, we say good night. Good night. Good night. Goodbye to everybody. Thank, Thank you. Night. Thank you, Jim. Thanks Godspeed. for having me. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. I don't know. I wanted to shake your hands. It's hand. too okay. sweaty. My hands are too sweaty. Thank you. Bye. Bye.